Well, hello, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog is entitled Faith and Risk, and it is a uh, another one in my ongoing series of my conversations with Lieutenant Colonel Taramina in our well-appointed and distinguished uh, officers club, where we sit in front of the fire, sip whiskey, smoke cigars, and discuss some of the more important issues of the day. In this particular narrative, we're having a discussion on faith and risk, hence the uh, title of the blog. Um, and I think it's an interesting and somewhat insightful discussion, specifically on how it relates to the necessity of needing to have risk in order for a society to function. And along with that, faith actually becomes a catalyst for risk. Now, I know this can get somewhat erudite, and uh, the air does get fairly thin up here, so I do ask that you make sure you have your oxygen with you while you read it, but I think you'll find it fairly enlightening. Um, it also does sort of explain a lot of the issues that we see manifesting today within the United States, specifically our institutional issues. Um, as we seek to minimize risk by essentially eliminating all forms of freedom. Uh, now, obviously, I tend to orient towards the Second Amendment, but I took an oath to uphold and defend the entire Constitution of the United States. And in addition to being a military officer, I, I also am an officer of the court, and I am duty-bound to make sure that this constitutional republic continues to exist, continues to manifest, and continues to provide and secure the blessings of liberty, not just for us, but for our progeny as well. And right now, our country is deeply divided. That division has the potentiality of actually expanding into legitimate armed conflict. And make no misunderstanding about it, the fate of the Republic is not by any stretch of the imagination foretold. The reality is that we are, as Ronald Reagan said, only one generation away from losing our freedoms completely. And I fear that because of our lack of understanding of the underlying philosophical principles of our constitutional republic, something that has been driven out of our school systems for, well, really, since I was a child, um, we are closer than perhaps any time other than 1860. Well, 1859 or 1860 to actually coming to a potentiality of losing our republic. So anyways, I do hope that you read the blog. Uh, definitely peruse it. As always, I seek your comments on it. As always, train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, and train with purpose. Above all else, stay safe.